thinking about moving to Annapolis? In this video, I'm going to give you seven things that you should really know before coming to this city. First off, Annapolis is the capital of Maryland and attracts roughly 2 million visitors a year. There is so much to explore, especially in the downtown area, with museums, shops, restaurants, and beautiful architecture. Our Maryland State House is iconic and even has served as the Nationals capital for a short period of time. While Annapolis is a city, it's a lot smaller than you may realize. Most of the area has more of a suburban feel and a lot seems like no matter where you are in Annapolis, you can get just about anywhere in any spot in about 20 minutes or less, unless it's during rush hour, of course. And number two on the list, Annapolis has a crazy amount of waterfront property and land all around. You'd be surprised just how much and it really shapes the whole feel and vibe of the city. There are a ton of neighborhoods and parks with water access, giving residents things like boat ramps and community beaches to enjoy. We are also America's sailing capital and sailboats from all over the world visit to enjoy our waterways. Whether you like paddleboarding, boating, or fishing, a great spot is never far away. And number three on our list, which I think catches a lot of people by surprise, our summers can be extremely brutal when the humidity is out and it's a hot summer day. The good news is though, most businesses and homes have AC and we have learned to adapt. We can also enjoy a day on the boat or swimming at the community beach or pool to help cool us off. And on to number four, we are the proud home to the Navy Academy, which adds even more rich history and culture to our amazing city. There's a visitor center, a museum, and of course a football stadium where we all reap for them to beat Army. And of course, we can't mention the Naval Academy without talking about commissioning week. Thousands of families travel all over to celebrate the graduating midshipmen. The Blue Angels make an appearance each year and many residents find a spot on their yard or on their boat to enjoy the show. And number five isn't such a fun one, the traffic. The traffic sucks. A lot of people who live in Annapolis will commute to other nearby cities like Baltimore and DC for work. So rush hour can be particularly miserable. And with the beachgoers during the summer, while they're trying to make their way to and from the Bay Bridge, you can expect to spend a little extra time in your car. And number six, we have a ton of local shops, chains, and some great restaurants all nearby. Whether you want to sit down at a restaurant for dinner or pick out some carryout on your way home from work, you have hundreds of great options to choose from. Like I've mentioned before, it feels like you can get anywhere in town in less than 20 minutes. Need to grab some groceries or run to Target? Just take a short drive and you are there in minutes. And finally, number seven, if you like to travel or if you have loved ones that would like to visit you, the great thing is BWI Airport is right nearby. Plus, you have other options with Dulles Airport in Northern Virginia and Reagan Airport in DC. Outside of all the cool stuff to do locally, we have a wide range of scenery and adventures across Maryland. There are countless day trips or long weekend trips that you can go and explore while having a home base here. From the beach at Ocean City to the mountains at Deep Creek Lake, all within a few hours of home. There is no shortage of things to do or places to explore from the hustle and bustle of DC to the countryside. To stay updated on all things Annapolis, please like and subscribe to our channel as well as join our Annapolis Digs Facebook group. The link is below.